Welcome to Golden Software's video training for Voxler 4. Voxler is an affordable 3D well data and modeling software package that allows you to produce professional looking graphics. In this video, I will attempt to cover some of the basic features of Voxler 4. In this welcome dialog, you can open a new project or worksheet, begin importing data, open an existing project, or access the tutorial. We'll open one of the sample files. There are two types of windows in Voxler, the project view and the worksheet view. Project views show all of the graphical elements of your project. This is where you design and create your projects. Many of the graphic modules begin from a data file. To view the data file after it has been imported into Voxler, click on the data module in the Network Manager and then click Edit Worksheet in the Property Manager. Alternatively, you can click File, Open, choose your data file, and click Open. This opens the data in the Worksheet view. The Worksheet views are where you can view and edit the data for your project. The project view in Voxler utilizes three different managers and a viewer window. The managers, open on the left side of the viewer window by default, are the module manager, the network manager, and the property manager. All of the managers can be opened and closed by clicking View, Managers, and then clicking on the manager name. The check mark next to the manager name indicates that it is currently showing. You can toggle the managers on and off by clicking the checkbox or the manager name. Managers can be resized and moved to be floating, tabbed, or docked. In Voxler, you can have multiple modules where a module is a data set or process. Modules are the building blocks from which the final Voxler output is constructed. The available modules are displayed in the Module Manager. By default, the Module Manager only shows the modules that can be connected to the currently selected module, or can be created without an input module if no module is currently selected. To display all modules, click the Show All Modules button in the top left corner of the Module Manager. The module manager contains an import command and folder containing all of the sample files, in addition to five other folders of various modules. The computational folder contains modules that modify the data. The data source folder contains modules for adding user-defined lattices that are not from a file. This is the same type of module that is created from an imported file. The General Modules folder contains modules that display information about other modules and change the lighting of the viewer window. The Graphics Output folder contains modules that add data-dependent graphics to the scene. The Well folder contains the Well Data module, which is a container for any well data imported into the project. Double-clicking on a module will add it to the Network Manager. Double-clicking a file will open it in a New Project tab. If a module is selected in the Network Manager when a new module is added, the two are automatically connected as long as they are compatible. For example, if we click on the Transform module in the Network Manager, which contains the Transform data points, we can add a Scatterplot module to it by double-clicking Scatterplot in the Graphics Output folder of the Module Manager. The Network Manager, to the right of the Module Manager, is where the modules that are in the project are displayed. The box displaying each module name also contains a checkbox and an indicator LED, and input and or output connection pads. These boxes are connected via the connection pads with connector lines. For example, the input connection pad of the transform module is connected to the output connection pad of the gridder module. To change the connections between modules, Click and drag from the output connection pad of one module to the input connection pad of the next. When the line turns to yellow, the connection can be made. For example, we can switch the ordering of the transform and gridder modules by clicking the output connection pad of the data module and dragging the mouse to the input connection pad of the transform module. Then clicking the output connection pad of the transform module, clicking connect output data, 
and dragging the mouse to the input connection pad of the gridder. From there, we can connect the gridder to each of the graphics output modules in the same way. A module can be renamed by right-clicking on it, clicking Rename, then typing the new name and clicking OK. The checkbox indicates visibility. If we uncheck the checkbox for the scatterplot module, the scatterplot will disappear from our viewer window. And if we recheck the box, the scatterplot will reappear. The indicator LED displays whether or not the module needs updating. When the light is green, the item is updated, but when the light is yellow, as it is for the gridder, the module is not updated. We can click on the gridder module in the Network Manager and then click the Begin Gridding button in the Property Manager to update the gridder module. Modules in the Network Manager can be moved by clicking and dragging them, and they can be deleted by right-clicking and selecting Delete, or clicking and pressing the Delete keyboard key. When a module is selected in the Network Manager, the properties for that module are shown in the Property Manager. The Property Manager tabs change based on what is selected. As long as the checkbox next to Auto Update at the top of the Property Manager is checked, the Viewer window will automatically update to show the changes made in the Property Manager. For example, if we change the color map to Chroma Depth for this Vol Render, we see the map update immediately. If this box is not checked, you will need to click the Update Now button to make the changes. The Viewer window shows all of the modules that are checked in the Network Manager. You can zoom out and in in this window and rotate the view. To rotate the view to another static angle, click and drag your mouse, making sure the mouse is no longer moving when you release it. Alternatively, you can click one of the predefined views from View, Defined Views. You can save a custom rotation by clicking View, Set Home, and then get back to that view later by clicking View, Home. You can also rotate the view dynamically, so when you release the mouse, the view keeps rotating in the direction your mouse was dragged. To do this, click and drag your mouse, making sure the mouse is still moving when you release it. This concludes the brief introduction to Voxler 4. If you have any additional questions, please contact Golden Software.